Welcome to the shot of Cosmos and Cosmos. And cheers to the first motherfucking space pictures. Oh, that's not space pictures. Oh, these are really cool. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so um, we know today and, uh, that we take pictures, and I'm not naming specific pictures, so don't get too excited, but uh, that all, all, all of our picture taking technology is digital, you know, mm -hmm. and the easiest ways to right? cell phone and you can zip zap it anywhere to anyone in the world. Right. We've been taking space piece, pictures of space in space before digital photography was even created. So uh, holy shit. How? So the first space pictures. 1946. 1946. 1946. Which is amazing. And so these early pictures were still done using just a regular old camera and film. Film. So what the first space picture did was that uh, there was a camera that was sent to the edge of space inside a steel box on a fucking decommissioned missile. Oh, okay. So they launched this camera up. They took the photos, and then the capsule that the camera was in crashed back down to Earth, and then um, a boat came and recovered the film. Okay. And then they developed it that way, and we got our first glimpses of, you know, the curvature space of the beyond the Earth. Like, you, you know what was really cool in my head about uh -huh. the story is that for just a brief moment, the person who developed the picture... Was the, the only first. person uh -huh. in the entire uh -huh. yes. world's history that's, that yeah. has seen a picture. That's my from second. From that's, beyond, from space. That's yeah. my second favorite fact. Uh -huh. That somebody's mm -hmm. always the first. Somebody's yeah. always the first. And only. I was thinking yesterday. I was wondering who was the first person to eat asparagus and then go to the bathroom and go, oh, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> we were. That's because we had asparagus. You know that? Anyway, uh, so the Apollo pictures, for example, um, these were done taken using traditional film on the moon with a specialized camera and then taken back to earth and developed back on earth right mm -hmm. okay um <laughs> there were so many cool things to add to the story too but keep going i don't have all those cool things early <laughs> spy satellites early spy satellites so they carried spools of kodak film and then the satellite once the spool was filled the satellite would drop the spool in a heat shield re-entry capsule and then a, a plane would fly in and pick it up it's a parachute and they would attempt to oh, catch it on the yeah parachute. they would catch it just like oh there's our fan <laughs> wow. get it take it to walgreens um <laughs> the earliest <laughs> will you develop these spy <laughs> pictures right uh, yeah. uh the earliest deep space probe still used film like we had no, we were using film for all of the early space pictures, um, but with uh, deep space probes, couldn't, couldn't bring the film back. No, they couldn't return the film, no. so they had to start to then think of like, well, what can we do? How do we get these images back if we don't have the physical media in hand to develop? Um, and so the lunar orbiters, for example, of the 1960s, they had the equipment on bo board that would take the film photos. Then on board, develop the photos and the negatives. Wow. And then mechanically scan the negatives one at a time to create an electrical signal. And the signal strength depended on how bright each spot in the image was. Uh -huh. And then a team would then com one, composite that together into mm -hmm. a fucking picture. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so that was the first images of ours. It came back with uh -huh. this information, uh, like one, two, three individual boxes. Uh -huh. And so they actually had uh, folks in JPL went in and color coded it. Yeah. So the first picture of Mars was information, but the color coded it by judging what the numbers told them. Uh -huh. so it was uh -huh. great. It's uh, just absolutely amazing. And one of the, uh, uh, another interesting thing that where they did stuff like that is um, for the Viking landers. So the now the Viking landers, though, didn't use film. That was our first uh, foray away from film. They had, uh, they were basically like slit cameras. They had a vertical slit where light entered, bounced mm -hmm. off a movable mirror through a set of lenses of 12 diodes that were sensitive to light, including optical and infrared. And so then what they would do is the diodes translated what they sensed into electrical impulses that were then sent back to Earth. 
So to take one picture, it took 30 minutes and, um, uh, and it was, uh, nine, over 9,000 lines of like, it was like these vertical, like these little lines of, mm-hmm. of information that they, they would then, print those off. yeah, they would print those up and put them together. Long, yeah. So there was this huge team of of imagers basically that that their job was to take that that to was to make the pictures um and so a fun fact i found was that the biking imaging team they tested the technology by taking a group photo yeah. and they took these panoramic pictures essentially there were 300 degree panoramic pictures and so the it, the camera would just take each each slice kind of going yeah. along and so as the camera would pa- pass by the team leader uh tim much he would then run behind the camera to a different position in the photo. And so in the photo, he's captured seven times. Ah, excellent. <laughs> which I think is really, really fun. Uh, now, uh, another issue was with uh, Voyagers. So these are super deep space probes. These are out there. They're beyond the solar system now, the heliopods. Which are stellar probes. Um, and so they could actually take 1,800 images per day, but they couldn't transmit that all that data at once. And so what they used were eight track tapes. They recorded the the data onto eight tracks, then they would rewind them and replay them and get the and get the data off Love of them. Um, wow, which is just absolutely wild. So I, it's just was fascinating. I never really thought about the first space pictures and kind of just developing that technology because we're so used to like just like James Webb and Hubble images and just these beautiful things that then we get, you know, almost instantly, mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, we had to figure out and develop ways, develop ways, <laughs> uh, you know, to use the technology we had to to take pictures out in space and to take pictures of space things. And I think it's really uh, pretty ingenious what we were able to come up with. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. So here's the space pictures, early space pictures. All the space pictures are fantastic. Thanks for joining us on The Shot. Follow us on all things. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.